Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can complete the KYZ verification within the Bondex Origin app. For those of you who have no idea what Bondex Origin is, I recommend that you click on the card up here and check out my original review that I made about Bondex so you know what the app is and why it's actually, in my opinion, a great idea to use the app. If you're however already familiar with Bondex, you might be wondering why does Bondex require KYZ verification and the answer is quite simple because within Bondex you can earn the so-called Bondex token which is a future potential cryptocurrency and in order to make sure that people don't scam the system so that they don't have multiple accounts or that they don't boost their own referral earnings by creating multiple fake accounts each user has to complete the KYZ verification to prove that they are one unique human being. And I get that some people out there might not be worried about their data security because obviously the KYZ verification requires to use an official document like for example your passport but you don't have anything to worry about because if we take a look at my screen right now you can see the website of Passbase which is the provider that Bondex uses for their KYZ verification and you can see that they have been extensively enough verified in terms of data security and also keeping your data safe. So you see that there's actually very little to worry about. And on another topic since we're already on the Passbase website for those of you out there that might consider that Bondex is some kind of scam although it doesn't require any kind of investment we can also quickly check out the pricing and plans that Passbase offers and we'll see that with annual billing the cheapest option to get verifications is actually $1.29 per verification and if we switch to monthly billing we can see that that actually goes up. However it is obviously also possible that Bondex negotiated a custom enterprise pricing although I would believe that the pricing there would still be around $1 per verification which means that Bondex or the team behind Bondex is actually spending a ton of money to make sure that all the users that are using bondits are legitimate human beings. And which at least in my opinion is another huge sign that Bondex is not a scam at all because if they were a scam why would they spend a fortune on KYZ verification using a certified third party when they could just integrate a take a picture of your passport solution in the app themselves and collect the pictures of the IDs as well if it were a scam. But anyway as said this video is not about if Bondex is legit or not. As said if you haven't seen it yet I recommend you check out my original review but today's video is about the KYZ verification. For that you'll need the Bondex Origin app and once you're in the app you can simply go to the profile tab. On your profile tab you'll notice there's a new button or the button was actually already here but it didn't work in previous versions of the app that is labeled get verified. When you press it it will bring up the verification process. If that doesn't happen and you see a message like coming soon then check the App Store or Google Play Store and update to the latest version and you should also be able to go through the KYZ verification. And as you can see on top it says Bondex secured by Passbase because as said Passbase is the third party provider that handles the KYZ verification. Now let's see what we'll have to do to get verified. So I'm just going to press start here and I'll have to agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy of Bondex Private Limited and that's pretty much it. So we continue here here and I'll have to prepare myself for a selfie. So it's one of those rare occasions where you get to see me without my cap. So I'm going to press continue here, grant access to the camera and well it isn't pretty but let's see if that's okay. So basically those two selfies make sure that there is some kind of liveness test because if you just buy some profile picture on the internet you likely wouldn't get it from two different distances. Therefore having two selfies taking and making sure that it matches the circle makes sure that I'm actually taking real selfies and I'm not trying to scam the system. The next thing is we'll have to provide a document and have to decide where it's from. Now my document actually is issued in Austria which is this here and we'll press continue and we can see an option of supported documents. Now for me in Austria it would accept my driver's license, national ID card or my passport. For you depending on your country that might obviously be different. Passbase supports more than 190 countries so there's also the very small chance that your country might not be listed at all in which case you probably best have to reach out to Bondex support. Now I said I'm going to select my passport and press continue. And it says I should scan my passport which is something that I'm obviously as usual gonna blur because it obviously contains personal data. And that's it, that's cool. So we have the selfie, we have then hopefully the passport and we'll need the email address and current location. 
So transfer that. The email address obviously comes from my Bondex profile. My verification has been submitted. It may take up to 10 minutes to process the verification. You'll be notified via email. So finish this and the status in the profile changed to in review. So I'm basically now just gonna wait and I'm gonna basically make a cut in the video once I have the results and then we'll take it from there. Here we are again and as you can see my profile now says verified. So I actually had to wait a couple minutes and I also restarted my Bondex app. I'm gonna do that again to prove to you that it's actually like this in the app. So as you can see it now says verified and with that I've completed the KYC verification and you now know how to do it as well. And that's pretty much it for today. Now, unfortunately, if you have any issues with the KYZ verification, I will not be able to help you. You will have to either reach out to Bondex through any of their official communities, or maybe Passbase might be able to help you as well. Although I think that you will have to reach out to Bondex. If you have any other questions about Bondex, the Bondex Origin app and so on, then feel free to leave them in the comments down below, or even better use the link in the description or the first pinned comment down below to join our Discord community and discuss the project and other projects with me in the community there. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then. Bye-bye.